now available in paperback and Kindle Unlimited. Isis, all that glitters. The goddess next door takes on a bikini-clad bank robber in this action-packed all-new Isis series adventure. Get Isis, all that glitters in paperback and Kindle Unlimited today. I got a chance to take a look at the Star Wars Episode Nine trailer, and after seeing the trailer for Star Wars Episode Nine, I can honestly say this is the end of the line for Star Wars. Now, your people at Star at Disney, your Kathleen Kennedy and your J.J. Abrams, they are promising that this will be the conclusion to the Skywalker saga. And when I look at this whole conclusion that they've presented in this trailer, I just see a complete hot mess of a movie that was desperately cut and pasted together in an attempt to try to get this trilogy finished so that they could try to save this dead franchise. Now, I have a critical question to ask your J.J. Abrams and your Kathleen Kennedy regarding the title of your Star Wars Episode Nine as I call it, Plan 9 from Tatooine, which would be much be better, how do you propose the rise of Skywalker like you put in your new title when your Luke Skywalker was killed in Episode 8? So you're proposing to walk back a grave error that you made in Star Wars Episode 8 or find some new way to bring a character back to life when it's been clearly established in your Star Wars Episode 4 that once a character, Luke, once the robe drops, like Obi-Wan's robe drops, they are dead, and the only way they can come back is as a Force ghost. So how can your Luke Skywalker rise or return to life if he died in Episode 8? So there's a big hole in this story right from the beginning of this trailer. And the other issue I have with this teaser trailer is that they're going to say that this new generation of heroes is going to rise. Now, when it comes down to this group of heroes that they say are supposed to rise for this generation, your Finn, your Poe Dameron, and your Rey, people have already rejected these characters and people of this generation want nothing to do with them the way people of my generation and the baby boomers connected with your Luke Skywalker, your Han Solo, and your Princess Leia. So when it comes down to this attempt to try to pass the torch to these new characters, that already failed because most people don't like these new characters. Most people don't want anything to do with these new characters, and most people don't care about these new characters. And when I look at this trailer, I just see so much desperation on screen in an effort to salvage a dying franchise. I see attempts to try to bring back the older fans with these old characters like Lando Calrissian. I'm wondering how they're going to humiliate and degrade him. And I see attempts to bring back nostalgia to people and who watched the original trilogy in a desperate attempt to get them back. And this is all done because of the bungling on The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi. People are just so desperate to get people back in the theater for Star Wars, but when you look at what they're presenting on screen, it doesn't look like anything compelling whatsoever. I mean, you had all this big musical score to highlight a bunch of scenes that really don't give you a reason to care. The initial trailer scene with your Ray breathing hard and she's getting ready to take on the um, Kylo Ren TIE fighter, it doesn't give me an incentive to see anything in this movie that makes me care. And I don't see anything as related to this whole so-called conflict that makes me care because all of the things that were related to the so-called intergalactic conflict, they seem like they were all settled in episode eight. So where are they going to go for your episode nine? And this is this is where the big problems lie. And this is why I say that this movie is going to be more like plan nine from Tatooine than a, comp, uh, a cohesive film such as your episode four, your episode five, or two thirds of your episode six, 
where we had a cohesive story that made us want to go see what happened to these characters and something that made us care about these characters. I mean, when it comes down to episode nine, no one really has a reason to care about anything and no one really has a reason to go see this movie. I mean, as a longtime start guy who's watched all of these movies, I'd have to say the new trilogy movies are some of the worst things I've ever seen. From your bumbling, stumbling Finn, who's nothing more than a black butler in this movie, to your Mary Sue Ray, to your to your effeminate Kylo Ren, I don't. I, there's not a single character in this movie that makes me care enough to see them come to any sort of resolution whatsoever. And there's no way to reconnect this story to make it into anything I would want to even think about spending money to go see or spending time to go see. But, I mean, all I see in this film is a last-ditch desperate effort by Disney to try to salvage this dying franchise. And with what they put on the screen, I just see them putting more nails in the coffin for the whole Star Wars franchise. As I see it right now, Star Wars right now is dead. It needs to be remain dead, and it just remains needs to remain six feet under because there's nothing else anybody can do with it. Now, your Bob Iger, the CEO of Disney, says he wants to give Star Wars movies a rest, but I believe he just needs to just kill the franchise altogether. It's been a good 40 years for Star Wars, and that run has been finished due to this really bad trilogy. And I don't see there being any way to salvage this trilogy or the whole franchise because the whole thing has been tarnished due to a series of bad stories. So when it comes down to the whole Skywalker saga, it's pretty much finished. And the thought was what the saddest part of it was, was if they had just started a new saga with a whole group of new characters in another part of the galaxy, maybe Star Wars could have survived into the 21st century later on into it, like the 2020s. But thanks to the incompetence of your J.J. Abrams, a man who has been failing since the days of Felicity, where he decided in season two, after Felicity cut her hair short, that show went into the crapper, Lost, which fell into decline, and I, was he involved with Alias? I don't know if he was, but every show he's been on in Star Trek movies, he's just made a mess. Through Kathleen Kennedy, who just wanted to promote feminism and identity politics over storytelling, this franchise is finished as I see it, and all they need to do is just put this franchise in the ground and call it a day. Because when I think of this Plan 9 and this movie, um... Uh, as related to this movie, it reminds me more of Ed Wood because your episode nine is just like plan nine from outer space. It's going to be a poorly crafted film. Unfortunately, it's going to be poorly crafted by people who are supposed to be the best in the industry. And that's the great irony. Your Ed Wood, when he made plan nine from outer space, wasn't intending to make a bad movie. He was just a guy who wanted, who loved film and wanted to make a movie, but he just didn't know what he was doing. But all these people who say that they know what they're doing, they get together and make one of the worst film trilogies in the history of sci-fi films. And this film is going to be the dingleberry that is going to be on the top of the crap cake that is the new trilogy. If you'd like to make, see me make more videos like this, you can donate to my Patreon by clicking the link in the description box. And if you want to see some really good action-packed African-American fantasy fiction, you can head over to Amazon.com to pick up my ISIS series, my E-Steam series, my John Haynes series, or the Spinsterella trilogy. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe. Coming to Kindle Unlimited this April, E-Steam Goddess of Hell's Aspiring Angel takes on a demonic dominatrix in this all-new E-Steam series adventure. Pre-order your copy of E-Steam Goddess of on Kindle Unlimited or pick up the paperback today.